Today on Locked On Rockies, well, this was kind of a surprise when I was looking through my email. Is Ryan McMahon really part of the MLB All Underrated team? You are Locked On Rockies, your daily Colorado Rockies podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Rock on Rockies fans, welcome into the Locked on Rockies podcast for today, the sixth day of February in the year 2024. I'm your host of the Locked on Rockies podcast, Paul Holden, bringing you your daily Colorado Rockies talk right here on the Locked on Podcast Network, where you can find your team every day. If your team is the Colorado Rockies, guess what? You're in the right spot because that's what we do around here each and every day is talk Rockies baseball right here on your favorite streaming services, the Locked on Rockies YouTube channel, wherever. You get your podcast. If you'd really like the show, if you're an everydayer, if you like what we do, head on over to the Locked on Rockies YouTube channel. Subscribe there. Like the videos. Be part of the show by firing off your Rockies hot takes. Letting me know what's on your mind when it comes to the Colorado Rockies as we're getting closer and closer uh, on the uh, regular season. And uh, let's read a couple of questions here or comments from Rockies faithful here. Joel VC says, where's the live stream these days? Never get notifications anymore about going live. Just when the video is posted, my schedule has changed about a million and five times over the past year and continues to be basically up in the air every week. So unfortunately I just haven't been able to have the, the, the time, the resources and the consistency to do the episodes live. So unfortunately we're just rocking with the recording episodes for, for, Basically, until 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 further notice, uh, unfortunately, I know the live was good. We had a great live audience. I unfortunately just don't always have uh, the time or the resources uh, to do this. But uh, RMK says, aside from pretty much the confirmed pieces like Quantrill, Freeland and Gomber, who do you think rounds out the rotation in 2024? Uh, We'll dive deeper into this one. That's 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 something I think will come up again. But just to give you a quick short answer, I think the Rockies are really going to uh, buy in and use that last spot in the rotation to check out the the Feltners, the Noah Davises, the guys that got injured for the Rockies that they have pitched in the past, trying to stick with that uh, that young team and that young. that that young uh, that I don't know if core is is really what you're seeing, but I think the Rockies want to see what they have in those players uh, and those pitchers fully uh, before they 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 commit to something else. But uh, I, I think the the last spot in the rotation will come from someone on uh, the roster currently. Uh, but anyway. The big deal today, I I saw this email and I was actually really, really encouraged by this. And it kind of uh, made me raise my eyebrows a little bit just because uh, this would this is this would be a good sign. And it's it's a it's a reminder that Ryan McMahon is an impact player. Even with the frustrations I think we have with 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 Ryan McMahon, because he's good. He's never been able to break into the great category. Uh, but that could change. That could change. Uh, we're going to dive into all that and more today. But before we dive into anything, today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Make every moment more. New customers join today and you'll get $200 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. All right, folks. Uh, we are talking Ryan McMahon here. And this is from MLB.com. Anthony Kastrovin says, uh, has writes the 2024 all underrated team on and uh, this is a column he's been doing for 10 years. So here are the requirements for all underrated team. No all-star appearances, no writers awards, no silver slugger or gold glove honors, no all MLB team honors, no inclusion on MLB networks, current top 10 right now list, no nine figure contracts and at least two years of service time. So In case you're curious uh, who the other players are, Ryan Jeffers of the Twins, Josh Naylor of the Guardians, Luis uh, Renfo of the Angels, uh, John Birdie of the Marlins, Ryan McMahon for the Rockies, Taylor Ward of the Angels, Leody uh, Tavares of the Rangers, 
Stanton and Max Kepler of the Twins. Uh, Harold Ra uh, Ramirez gets the designated hitter spot. Merrill Kelly gets the starting pitcher spot. And uh, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Adar, uh, Grata, Grata all, uh of the Dodgers gets the relief pitcher uh, spot. So there is your all MLB or your 2024 all underrated team. And here's what they had to say about McMahon here. Uh, Anthony had to say about McMahon again. This is from uh, MLB.com. McMahon was our all underrated third baseman a year ago, and absolutely nothing has changed. In 2023, McMahon had his third straight season with 20 homers and his second season in the past three years with 30 doubles. More importantly, McMahon once again rated as one of the best hot corner defenders in MLB. Over the past four years, the only third baseman with more outs above average than McMahon's 30 are the Pirates' Cabrian Hayes, 50, and former Rocky star Nolan Arenado. So there's what this is like a pretty much a perfectly encapsulation, I think, of who Ryan McMahon has been and, and, and what he's been for the Rockies. You, you can't sit there and say that Ryan McMahon is a bad baseball player. You can't sit there and say that Ryan McMahon is a bad thir third baseman. That's plain and simply not true. He just, he's got the superstar potential in him, but the inconsistencies get in the way and striking out, especially is getting in the way. Currently, uh, baseball reference here for projections for Ryan McMahon here. 27 doubles, 21 home runs, 70 RBI, 7 stolen bases with a batting line of 248, 327, and a slugging of 433, 156 strikeouts to 50, uh, 58 walks. That's pretty standard honestly when you're looking at a ryan mcmahon season last year 240 batting average uh 70 rbi five stolen bases uh 240 batting average 322 obp slugging a 431 ops of 753 so they're thinking it's going to be pretty much a standard year for ryan mcmahon does that make him underrated i, I guess it really depends on how you look at it I think there's an argument to be made. Ryan McMahon is uh, last year was 2.9 baseball reference war, just above three under three war. That's second on the team and higher than a lot of members of the Rockies team. And, and, and if you're just let's I guess let's take a look here. at I think now the uh, the biggest competition for for McMahon when you're when you're talking about greatness and especially defense is uh, mentioned in that article as well as Cabrian Hayes. Cabrian Hayes last year finishes with a four war, a 271 batting average, 309 OBP, a slugging of 453, and an OPS of 762 while hitting 15 home runs, driving in 61, scoring 10. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, stealing 10 bags as well. But here's the kicker for that 104 strikeouts to 28 walks. So still, you know, still a tough, still triple digits in strikeouts for Cabrian Hayes. But that is almost a hundred strikeout difference between these two players. And that's in, 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 in let me, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me make sure I've got my, <laughs> my tabs right. Yes. Uh, so 104 strikeouts for Cabrian Hayes last year, 198. So a 90, what is that? 94 more strikeouts for Ryan McMahon in about 100 more at-bats, it looks like. 102 more at-bats. I mean, that's kind of a problem when you're thinking about that as Ryan McMahon has over 100 more at-bats that, uh, uh, you know, or it, it, roughly in that range than, than Cabrian Hayes. But, but then if you factor in, all of those could be strikeouts. That's the biggest, there's no... Thing, there's nothing on defense that Ryan McMahon can do to separate himself from the pack. Uh, Ryan McMahon is a gold glove elite defender. He, you know, he might miss out on, on the defensive run saved or, or, or whatever, but he's been a finalist multiple years for a reason. And he's great. It's the offense. It's the inconsistency there that is truly getting in the way. And we've seen this story a lot of times. Ryan McMahon is good. I want to reemphasize that. But are we able to call him the most underrated third baseman if we know that this is a consistent thing? And is that enough? Is he just the easy answer? Is he forever going to be the guy that we say, 
if he busts out the look out cuz i that 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 message stay, remains true but how much can we count on it we've now watched ryan mcmahon for 6 years 5 for, well, you know cuz he only got seven. he only played in 17 games in 17 but he's hitting the prime and he's still really good but here, here's the trend. Here's the here is the trend that you got to keep your eyes out here. The past three years for Ryan McMahon, 2021, 147 strikeouts. 2022, 158 strikeouts. 2023, 198. He has increased in strikeouts in the past three years, and not only increased but a massive jump in striking out uh, last year. Without a massive jump in taking walks. So I think that that's something you have to consider and you have to keep in mind when you're factoring in, is he properly rated? Is he overrated? That's, that's the, that's the type of stuff you need to look at because the projected line, that's a great, that's, that's another fine Ryan McMahon line, but I'm waiting for the Ryan McMahon season that sticks out. I'm waiting for the Ryan McMahon season that, that cements him as one of the Rockies best, I'm waiting for the Ryan McMahon all-star season because he is an all-star caliber player, but we haven't quite seen it yet. However, I think there's an argument to be made that he is, that, that he is underrated. I, and, and there's a reason he made it onto this list. Let's dive into that. Let's talk about the Rockies being underrated at, in general. Coming up here in segment number two of today's Locked on Rockies podcast. Before we do that, though, got to tell you about some of the folks that help make this show possible, and that includes eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die, your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED highlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash with all the parts you need at the prices you want it's easy to turn your car into the mvp and bring home that win keep your ride or dive alive your, your ride or dive your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply ebay guaranteed fit only available to u.s customers this is the Locked On Rockies podcast for free and streaming on your favorite streaming services, bringing you your daily Colorado Rockies talk right here on the Locked On Podcast Network and the Locked On Rockies YouTube channel, where you can be part of the show, fire off your Rockies hot takes, and let me know what's on your mind when it comes to the rocks. Because those comments, those likes, those all that good stuff really, really does help the show grow. And uh, really, really do appreciate it. So thank you all. Really, really do appreciate y'all for making us your first listen of the day. Ooh, I got my little overlay still up, so we'll change that. Boop. Okay, uh, we're talking Ryan McMahon. We're talking, uh, is he over or underrated? I don't think he's an overrated player. I don't think anyone is overrated Ryan McMahon. I don't think you look at Ryan McMahon and, and you can't sit there and say that he's been overrated when you compare him kind of just to fizzle out to where he's I wouldn't say fizzle out. That's that's really not the best way to uh, to just to, to phrase that because there's the one thing that you, that you can sit there and say in the uh, in the uh, post Arenado world is at least the Rockies haven't fallen back defensively at that position. Obviously, playing Montero there for a little bit, but that is one thing I don't think that you can that you can't uh, overestimate or knock Ryan McMahon for. Uh, I, I, Ryan McMahon is one of the most elite defensive third basemen in the league. He's he he he, he is. But when we're talking about being valued and rated. That offensive, the the offensive inconsistencies are going to forever plague him, and and this really is a season as he's getting as he's about to turn thirty, as he's going into the you know kind of what a lot of people would call the second half of their career with that post thirty uh, you know moment. It's 
if he can grow and develop into a a more disciplined and professional hitter mixed with his hitting abilities, Ryan McMahon will have a chance at being an all-star. Ryan McMahon will, will have a chance to be the Rockies' best player. I really would like, I, I, I mean, it, it's it's not just him, but but all the Rockies with striking out. But I'm telling you, one of the best signs of this season, one of the best markers of this season, one of the, if you're looking for things to look for in terms of success for the Rockies, if the team itself is striking out less, but especially if Ryan McMahon is able to strike out less, that is going to be a massive swing for the Rockies offense. This is a guy that has extra base hit potential. This is a guy that can hit home runs. This is a guy he won't steal a lot of bases, but can steal a base. The tools all exist for Ryan McMahon. He has shown flashes at time of his excellence and his greatness. It's consistency that continues to be a problem for Ryan McMahon as consistency continues to be a problem for baseball players from the start of time to the end of time because it's one of the hardest sports to be consistent in. But I, when it's it's when when you see Ryan McMahon making a list like this, when you see the Rockies continuing to pop up on some of these lists out there of, hey, here's this Nolan Jones guy, he's really special. When the season starts, they're gonna bring back up the fact that Brenton Doyle is an elite defender. And when you mix in, I, I, I brought this up on yesterday's show, and I brought it up a few times. It can't be understated that the fact that there are three Gold Gloves potentially sitting in that infield. So it's not only if Ryan McMahon is underrated, are the Rockies in general underrated? And you can't really answer that question until the Rockies themselves take the step up and start punching above their weight class, start punching and, and, and stealing games, start punching teams in the mouth, start this season off instead of looking at the seller and, and, and bowing down to these, early, these playoff caliber teams early in the season, trying to start things off right against the Rockies. They are the ones that instead start out hot. They are the ones that instead show that they aren't going to be just pushed around anymore. There needs to be a chip on the shoulder of the Rockies to become a team that is not going to be not going to continue to let the narrative, the outside stuff define them. Because that's the only thing that the Rocky that 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 people who don't follow the Rockies have is the outside perception of the club. And we've talked about how bad that perception is, but man, you're talking about it a thing that can immediately turn it around. It's Ryan McMahon being an all-star. And it's amazing. Remember to, to think about Ryan McMahon and to think that he qualifies for this list with remind you, this is what the uh, the the uh, the criteria were to make uh, the the all underrated team from Anthony Castrovins here on MLB.com. No all star appearances ever. No, uh, no BBW, uh, no baseball writers association awards, no silver slugger or gold glove honors. No all MLB team honors. No inclusion on MLB Network's current top 10 right now list. No nine-figure contrast. And at least two years of service time. The one thing when we're talking about uh, is Ryan McMahon overrated or underrated or any of this stuff. I'm sorry. There are not 10 first basemen better, third basemen better than, than Ryan McMahon. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think... That these statistically, when you're looking at this uh, at this stuff, Cabrian Hayes doesn't even make this top ten list. But of course, you gotta have the you know you got your Justin Turners and your Max Muncies and all this stuff. I don't necessarily think their offense solely carries the fact that they're not the elite level defenders. I mean, Max Muncie lower WAR than Ryan McMahon, lower batting average than Ryan McMahon. He just out hit him last year. Is that the and and for third base? I'm sorry, defense matters at third base. Uh, you know, Jose Ramirez, Austin Riley, Manny Machado. That's that's fine. But am I gonna really sit here and 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 again, Nolan Arenado's on this list? He's dropped all the way down to seven. Ryan McMahon was statistically better than Nolan Arenado and has statistically been better on defense than Nolan Arenado for two seasons now. I mean, the, the, ten, there are not. 10 better third baseman than Ryan McMahon. He at least deserves to be on this list. I, I just don't think that you can sit there and just have a guy that 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 these guys with just where they are and their offensive abilities, that's the only way. 
there are there are plenty of of really good third basemen on this list, but but Ryan McMahon continuing to not make it. Not only is that is is that a uh, uh, a, a a a mark against the Rockies and and, and Ryan McMahon, it, it it's just kind of again shows that this Rockies team has to start proving it. This Rockies team isn't gonna get any respect. They haven't earned a lot of respect with the performance uh, with 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 the post pull layoff era. They haven't done a lot to really justify to to really make you respect them. But this year, above everything, as they as they try to fight back from this, from from the worst season, is the reputation has to change. The Rockies in general have to get better. They have to play better, they have to think better, and they have to put it all together and start punching back at these teams. Because again, it's not good when Ryan McMahon misses out on all those awards and is not considered one of the top 10 third basemen in baseball. That's a problem. Because there's an argument to be made that Ryan McMahon is a top 10 third baseman in baseball, but the thing that goes back to it is the inconsistencies. So until Ryan McMahon and the Colorado Rockies are consistent and they're consistently succeeding, and, and this is even in a season, in a, in a season uh, setting as well, no long, no long multi-week losing streaks, no five-plus game losing streaks, no struggles at, you know, not losing multiple series at home, that type of stuff, then the Rockies will earn a little bit more respect. But until then, they're going to just keep getting peppered into the underrated and what's Nolan Jones going to do? They tweeted about him again on from the, the main MLB account, account yesterday. What's his sophomore season going to look like? And I, it, that stuff excites me, but, but I want the Rockies to go back to having a bunch of players on those graphics. And this season is, is, is certainly, there is certainly potential there. If the Rockies have a strong start to the season and, 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 and raise the eyebrows, this team, there's going to be a lot of people that realize there are, there is solid talent on this team, but how you build up from it and how you make that team consistent, that's still to be shown. So is Ryan McMahon underrated? Yes. Is he the best third baseman? No. Is he better than all of those third basemen on that, on that list, on that top 10 at the position? No. But I argue he's better than some of them. I argue he's got a case for being a top 10 third baseman in the game. Not number one, not number five. But you're telling me that Ryan McMahon can't be in the 10 to sixth best third baseman in the league? I don't buy it. All right. Uh, another all whatever team I, I, I saw here is the all bounce back team. And uh, a player that I was hoping was going to be on that list was not on that list. Uh, and we're going to talk about that coming up here in just a second in segment number three of today's episode of Locked on Rockies. This is the Locked on Rockies podcast, and we are brought to you by FanDuel. Happy Super Bowl to all who celebrate from FanDuel, America's number one sports book. If you're like me, Super Bowl Sunday is all about scoring the best seat on the couch, grabbing your favorite football snacks, and placing some super bets. Man, the line continues to be really close between these two teams here for the Super Bowl. But uh, like I said, until Patrick Mahomes gives you a reason to bet against him, don't bet against Patrick Mahomes because he did a lot of proving that haters wrong this week. And I'm certainly picking up on a Travis Kelsey touchdown or two here on FanDuel. FanDuel has so many ways for you to end the season with a W or two or three. Not only can you bet on who will win Super Bowl 58, but FanDuel also has bets for which players will score a touchdown, how many points to be scored, and so much more. New customers join today and you'll get $200 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins at FanDuel.com slash locked on. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to sign up. That's FanDuel.com slash Locked on. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. 
This is the Locked On Rockies podcast for free and streaming on your favorite streaming services. And hey, a reminder, Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with the local experts of Locked On, plus our national shows covering every league. Go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. All right, we've been kind of going over some of these uh, fun lists that uh, MLB has uh, had had the uh, the um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I totally got cross there. Uh, MLB's couple of lists that they have been doing, and uh, we've talked about Ryan McMahon being on the all underrated team, the third baseman for the uh, uh, all underrated team, and uh, another one that I saw was uh they they titled this the all bounce back team or the uh, basically a bunch of players that will uh w- will uh see players that could that that will have uh bounce back performances someone that uh that that they're going to uh be able to 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 recoup and uh get out there and uh and do some damage and Chris Bryant wasn't on this list and Chris Bryant continues to fall down these lists. And it, it's continuing to get a little more worrisome for Chris Bryant. I, I just think that when this isn't really that big of a deal. I get it. It's just a little silly off-season list. But the it, it just brings up the warning signs yet again of where what are we getting from Chris Bryant? What are we, what are, what is the future for Chris Bryant? What does, what does Chris Bryant's impact look like? I, I think this, you know, finally, this will be a really interesting off season too for Chris Bryant again with, with weird stuff. I know he wasn't involved in the WBC last year or anything, but like, is this, is this really the first is this the first spring training that Chris Bryant has been part of the team without weird stuff happening? I can't remember if he was um, if he was already on the team during the spring training lockouts. I can't remember if that was if that was pre Bryant or or when that was. But there has always been weird stuff leading into the season with Chris Bryant. There's been position changes. There's been this. There's been that. And of course, the the hand injury was just a freak accident last year. But now maybe with these changes, with the focus on first base, with that, with, with, with no WBC, no lockouts, no nothing weird going on this offseason, maybe that's the get right situation for Chris Bryant. Maybe that's the uh maybe that's something that, that, that Chris Bryant needs to bounce back. Because plain and simple, the Rockies can't have Chris Bryant be a negative war player, which he was last year. He's got to get closer to that four times all star. He's got to be someone that can contribute for the Rockies. And he's got to be someone that 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 is also watching his strikeouts. He struck out 68 times last year in his in 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 80 games. I mean, strikeouts are going to be something I am going to focus on heavily this season. So I don't know. I I, I don't know if uh, it, you know. There's I can't remember the whole list there. I actually don't have it in front of me. I've been trying to find find the article, but I did find it from MLB.com. Um, I, I know that's where uh, I, I got it from. And uh, you know, it's just here's hoping. Here's hoping the Rockies really, really do need to uh, to. It's not just a a good, better bounce back performance from Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant needs to be. The, the 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 guy that uh is he needs to be the aircraft carrier and here it is actually the most improved players of 2024 will be and this is from thomas harrigan um in case you're curious what the list is uh here uh these are the biggest gains in war this year just just to go through the list here quickly Val- vladdy uh jr carlos correa uh luis servino brandon uh thought uh Tr- lance lynn uh, Michael Kopik and Eloy Jimenez, Lucas Giolito, Ty France, Alec Thomas, and Ross Stripling. So, I mean, they're projecting, I mean, massive. If if, if the Rockies get a swing of plus 1.6 war, which they are uh, projecting for Alec Thomas and Ross Stripling, that'd be massive. 
But you know what else? You know what Chris Bryant would finish war wise if he if you add one point six war to his uh, last season total, point six. It, it's 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 not only a prove it year for Ryan McMahon, it's a prove it year for Chris Bryant as well. Folks, that's going to do it for today's episode of Locked on Rockies. Thank you so much for making us your first listen of the day. We are available free and streaming on your favorite streaming services. You can also find us on the Locked on Rockies YouTube channel where you can be part of the show. You can let me know what your thoughts are. Your Rockies hot takes. Subscribing to the Locked on Rockies YouTube channel is the best way to help the show grow. And uh, folks, if you need more baseball action, Locked on MLB has got you covered for your second listen. Or if you need more Colorado sports coverage, Locked on Broncos, Locked on Avalanche, Locked on Nuggets, Locked on Buffs all available for you free and streaming on your favorite streaming services. Until next time, I'm Paul Holden saying so long from the Locked on Rockies podcast.